This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Johnson versus Monet. You all are dating, you're coming up on a year, and you're already having trust issues. Mr. Johnson, you fell in love with a reality TV star, but now you've got some concerns. You've got a big decision to make. Tell us about that. I really like Kiana, and basically, uh, before I pack up my life from Chicago and move to Las Vegas, I want to make sure that I'm, you know, that she's 100% with me. It would be a lot, about an eight to ten thousand dollar move for me to pack up and leave to Vegas. To, also, I would have to start my clientele all over again. So I'm risking a lot by leaving Chicago, going to Vegas to be with Kiana. So you met and fell in love with a reality bad girl, and you're trying to make sure she's actually gonna be your good girl. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. I got it. I got it. Now, Miss Monet, you were on the Bad Girls Club. Are, are you being a bad girl? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm really a good girl. Like, at heart, I have a good heart, and he knows that. And just because I'm a bad girl doesn't mean I do bad things. He has some concerns that you're cheating. What are you here to prove? I'm here to prove that if I've been on FaceTime and talking to you for eight, nine months now, and I'm still talking to you and I haven't got anything or any dates or anything romance, honey, that's proof enough that I'm in this. I mean, I think it is. I'm sacrificing at this point. I mean, but at the same time, if I text you at 6 o'clock and you read the message at 6.02, but you reply back at 9 p.m., it's a problem with that. I was at a booking. I was at a booking, okay? I had work to do. That's a what club, she say. The club... You saw it on know that. Snapchat! No, I did not. I was at a booking. Actually, I can't no, have my Actually, phone. the situation that I'm talking this about... This is why you don't okay, need to date look, a bad girl. They, 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 we might as well talk to each other because they're not talking to each other. They're not even here. <laughs> well, so, how you doing? They have got <laughs> trust issues out the wazoo. <laughs> what, what you up to? She doesn't trust him. He doesn't trust okay. her. They have got... So... All right, so here's the deal. I am watching this... You all are not talking to each other. You all are not having conversation with each other. You try to overtalk her. She, she try to overtalk you. That's the y'all problem. It's each always other. a miscommunication. I... Kiana wants to run the relationship. She want to be the man. She oh, don't. She is... don't want to be submissive. She don't want to be the woman. Oh, okay, that so, is not true. true. That's very true. I actually Wait. enjoy being submissive right. when I have a man that lets me. You know that I can be submissive you can't with. Can't tell your man what, but what to are you do. Gonna, you Let don't... your man all be right. a man. So, Mister Johnson, right. right. what Ms. do you man. have? to support your belief that she is, in fact, cheating. For one, nobody even knows she's in a relationship. She won't even post me on her social media. Everybody knows about her on my end. Um, when I asked her why haven't she posted me on her social media, she gave me a weak excuse saying that her fans would be, you know, mad if she's in a relationship. That's what, not whatever. what I said. I said, I don't want my fans to start going to your page and being rude to you and saying the things they say to me because my fans are crazy and I don't want him to go through that. AKA I want to keep him safe from all AKA the, the bad end of being a celebrity. It's hard. You know, well, the court does its own research and we found on your Twitter where you posted this That's beautiful nice. picture and you have my beautiful lady. So, he's claiming so you, you... I like the picture so people can see that I liked it, so it's not like... <laughs> she liked the picture. Okay, but you, you like the... <laughs> you don't like the fact that he's claiming you, that he's saying, look, this is my woman. He's telling the world, he's proclaiming it to the world. You're not proclaiming to the world that this is your man. You yes. see why that's a problem. But you that's been... cute the first few months it is. But, God, I'm still a girl. Like, there's things I need... Like, I just need certain things, okay? Like, I just can't. I get bored. All it's right, been but... eight months. I'm tired of talking on the phone. I'm tired of doing that. Come see me. Let's go on a romantic... Go... Let's okay, do something. Rewind. Okay, hold, hold on, rewind. hold on, hold on. Let me That's say something. Miss Monet, hold up, hold Wait, up. Come on. Wait. Hold... You sure? <laughs> oh, we're doing what they're doing. Yeah. Okay, all right, let's... All right, have you told the world that you're still single? No, I've never said that. I've but never said never I'm said single. I never say I'm either. single. I never do any of that. Okay, so you a don't. A lot post of celebrities that. keep their relationships private for for the one reason, so the other person won't have to get the backlash that we get, that we deal with on a daily basis. She does make a valid argument that right. celebrities, I mean, keep their relationships private. I mean, everybody. And she's knows. trying to protect you. That's do not you true. do you accept that? No, I do not, because at the end of the day, yes, she is a celebrity, but at the same time. That backlash don't bother. I, I got tough skin, so I'm not worried about that. 
Do you have any other reasons to believe that she's cheating besides yes. her not changing no. her status yeah, or letting yes, the world know? Um, so she asked me to go to a Miami trip, spur of the moment Miami trip. When I told her that I couldn't come, what she did was she told me that, oh, well, you know, my friend, her boyfriend's flying down there. And he's going to fly a few of his homeboys down there. We all going to rent a house out together. So once I told her how I felt about that, she... Oh, I'm just playing. It's not going to be nobody. I was just saying that to see what you was going to say, see how you feel about it. How did you feel about that? I wasn't, like, if, if I'm rocking with you, I'm, I'm not expecting you to be sleeping in no house with, with other men. But, but she backed away from that. So what did she ultimately leave you thinking what kind of trip she was taking? Oh, it was just going to be her, her friend, and her friend's boyfriend. But Just right. the three of them. Just the three of them. And not to mention, when she so, was in Miami, and I FaceTimed her, um... But it took a, it took about two hours for the FaceTime me back. She said she was in a room with another friend that met them down there in Miami. I don't know if this friend was a female or a male. All I know is that it took her three hours to respond back to my call. You called me one time and I was late. That's because I was getting ready for my booking. So, I think he's just a very insecure person, and I can't deal with that because in my realm of work, we're going to argue all the time. Wait. Wait. I got to ask the hard question. <sighs> Did you sleep with someone else while you were in Miami? No. Never would I do that. Didn't kiss anyone. Didn't even hug no one long. Nothing. <laughs> Wait, oh, you, you see how she slipped that in there? Didn't hug you anybody know long. Oh, okay. It's not like I'm so, making a joke. Like, it, church hugs only. Like, it was nothing going on. Church, church hug. <laughs> church, like, like this? Like that. That's what full body like contact. He, yeah, I feel like he knows that deep inside, but he's just so freaking crazy. Like, it's just, I don't understand it. Because I'm not like that. Like, I don't worry. I don't think he's doing any... I don't worry too much because if you don't trust someone, you shouldn't be with them anyway because that's just a headache. So I give you just trust. Like... Mr. Johnson, do you have any other reasons not to trust her? Yes, sir. Um, <laughs> she say she say that I don't step up, be a man, and try to take her out. This and the other. I planned a whole trip to Vegas, fight night weekend. The week before I flew out, Kiana ignored my text messages and calls the whole week. She just she goes ghost. She when she went ghost. When I flew out to Vegas that day, I called Kiana. Mm. She hit me back at 1 a.m. At that point, I'm like, you know. I don't even want to deal with this no more. So I spent the entire Vegas weekend trip without even seeing her. The week leading up to that, she ignores you. Yes. Let me tell you the truth. All right, let's hear it. Let's go there. What's your side of the story? Me? Oh, my homeboys done convinced me to come watch a fight in Vegas. We're going to come out there. We're going to come out there. I'm going to um, see you when I get out there. Though. I'm going to come right. out. So he never planned it for me because I was, I would have really been flattered if he really came out there to see me. Like, because he never does anything. So that would have just made me like. <laughs> but let's so be honest. Him and his homeboys planned it. They got a hotel. He didn't even stay at my house. He got a hotel with his homeboys. Miss Monet, regardless of whether he was coming out with his homeboys or not, if your significant other, if your boyfriend's coming out to the town you live in, you make time to see no, him. I if... did. You didn't let me finish. He's lying to y'all. Let me tell you the rest. <laughs> okay, so after he gets there, he talked crap and told my for our mutual friend that I was talking crap about her. No. Because he was mad that I didn't see him what, that okay. as fast as he had wanted to. Okay, in that all right. Now, what kind of man does something like that? That's Ms. Monet. That's drama. Miss Monet. And I was done after that. Don't want to see. So, oh, hold on, Miss Monet. Miss Monet, you are saying that the, all of this is because you're a celebrity. He doesn't understand the world you're living he in doesn't. and the things that you're doing and the things that you've done are because of your celebrity status. And you're saying unequivocally you're not cheating. No. That is I why. I want some of that, and I can't even get that. So I'm just like, I don't know what to do. If I can't even get so that, look, you know what I'm all saying? All right, so hold on. Girl, it's too because much. Because of. <laughs> Because you are a reality star, you're a bad girl on TV, we had to find out from a bad girl about a bad girl. Oh, we are no. pleased to have Natalie Nunn, oh, who's yeah. going oh, yeah. on to become a successful entrepreneur uh -huh. and a mother mm -hmm. and a wife. And she was an original bad girl on the original Bad Girls Club. Ron, would you escort her in, please? Yes, y'all. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Miss Nunn, we're so glad you're here. Yes. And to help yeah. us with this, and you were the original bad girl. I was. All right. I was. <laughs> Can you relate to this case? So, it's very overwhelming, you two. I hear you flying to Vegas. I hear you trying to move to Vegas. I hear the fight night. I hear it. I celebrity. Girl. I was the original bad girl. Yeah. When you have a good man in front of you, 
really trying, you need to bring it down a few notches. I am a bad girl at heart, but I am also an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. I'm a mom. I am a wife mm -hmm. of five years married now. Ooh, girl, and I'm, like I'm trying to tell you, Lord, okay? God, and I was America's favorite bad girl, <laughs> okay? So, so, so Ms. Monet is saying that this is just part of being a celebrity, part of being a reality star, part of being a bad girl, mm -hmm. that what she's doing is just part of that persona. Mm -hmm. She's playing to her fan base. <laughs> Your fan what's, what's base is my fan that? base. Let's, let, hold on. I'm going to let you get away with some of this right now. Because I'm a bad girl. And we gonna, we, look, girl. But look, you need to separate your real life from your work. You're treating him like a fan. Like, how do you, how are you not, why don't you want to post him? Like, and, I, and in this, it, on the flip side of that, in the beginning, I did not post my husband either. And, and I can relate to that because there were times in the very beginning of my relationship, I was like, oh no, you're not about to, mm -mm, you're not about to mess with what I got going on because I don't know if I really want to be with you. You know, I'm not going to show the world who you are. And then now you're going to be on all these blogs that, you know, and now I got another count on my list. That's like, exactly how I got I feel. another guy I'm date, I didn't date and that's it didn't work though. out. And that's the that's issue. That's exactly how I feel. Yeah. I'm like, that's the issue. I don't know, if, just like he doesn't know if this is real. I'm trying to figure out if this is real because if I'm not there yet, I cannot post you until I know for a fact. And that's why we're here to find out. Mr. Johnson, you brought a witness today, is that correct? Yes. Uh -oh. Ma'am, would you stand to the podium? Would you state your name, please? My name is Jennifer Williams. Uh, Ms. Williams, what is your relationship to Mr. Johnson? I'm his big cousin, but we have a brother-sister relationship. He tells me everything. What do you know about this relationship? It seems that Kiana has a problem with communication. He goes long periods of time without talking to her, and she wants to... Anytime she sees him again, she wants to just pick right back up where they left off. It doesn't work like that. It seems very deceitful. She, is, she doesn't seem like somebody that he should trust at all. And for him to get up and make a big move like that, nobody in our family knows her. We don't know her. We don't know anything oh, about her except... So except that's how important I am. So, how could, so you're how could we know you? How could we know you? So we do Hold know, on. We do know what we see on social media, him claiming her, and she liked the picture, yeah, like you would like any other picture that a fan will post of you. So, Ms. Williams, you're concerned that your little brother or your cousin mm -hmm. is getting ready to uproot his life, yeah, spend all this money, right. and, and it may be for nothing. Yeah, for nothing. Ms. Williams, thank you so much for your insight. Mr. Johnson, you have concerns that whether you're getting a reality star, a bad girl, or someone that you can spend your life with. Well, companion, co correct. Ms. Bonet, mm -hmm. have you been cheating? No, no. Mm -mm. Are you dating anybody else? No. Are you sexually active with anybody else? Mm. That's crazy. Like, no. Okay, yeah. That's what's at stake here. And that's why this court gets to the truth. Let's get to it. The court would like to call Kendall Schull, licensed private investigator and former special agent to the FBI, to the courtroom. Ron, would you please escort Mr. Schull in? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> How are you, sir? Great, Your Honor. Thank, Thank you. you. And we're glad you're here to help us get to the truth. Glad to be here. All right. You did a polygraph examination of Miss Monet, is that correct? I did. And you obviously have the results there. I do, Your Honor. Would you please state your credentials for the court, please? I was privileged to enjoy a, a career as a special agent with the FBI in Washington, D.C. Uh, after completing a master's degree in polygraph, I became the chief of the entire FBI's polygraph program. Mm. After retirement, I moved to Knoxville, Tennessee, where I opened up Kendall Investigations, which is a private investigative and polygraph company. Mm. Mr. Shaw, just for the court record, about how many polygraphs have you done over your career? Thousands. Probably. All right. You asked Ms. Monet during your 4th of July trip to Miami, did you have intercourse with another man? What was her response? She said, no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined she was being truthful. Okay. You asked Ms. Monet, since you began dating Mr. Johnson, have you had physical sexual contact with any other man? What was her response to that question? She said, no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that she was being...
lie detector determined that she was being deceptive. <laughs> what? Miss Monet, this man is wanting to move across country to be with you. If you want that to happen, now is the time for you to come clean. I'm telling you, I've never had any sexual contact with anyone. I don't even know what that means. I'm like, sexual contact? Does that mean I've never had sex with anyone, never made out with anyone, none of that stuff? I mean, I had some stripper shake on me a little bit a few times, but, like, I never, like, had, like, se No, I'm being dead serious. I'm really shocked. All right, Miss Monet, we've gotten the results. The question is, Mr. Johnson, are you going forward with this relationship? Mm -hmm. Are you moving to Las Vegas? And what are you going to do? At this point, I had no clue after what I just heard, so... Well, Mr. Johnson and Miss Monet, you all have got some issues, clearly, that you need to work out. If you all decide to move forward together... Yeah please take advantage of the counseling resources that we have here. Okay. I will tell you, you all need to learn to communicate. You all just talk, 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 talk. Nobody hears anything. I'll tell all the time communication. No, no, no. Listen, if you all are going to be together, you've got to figure that out. As we say in this court, don't cheat yourself out of a chance for a good relationship. Court is adjourned.